ladies and gentlemen, then I would like to uh, present our rapid deployable system. We are here at the dam uh, experience point where we afterwards can discuss what we actually are doing and how we are doing it. What are we going to show you today? That is our rapid deployable system. First of all, it's easy to transport. In transportation, it's easily to be uh, taken from one place to another by two persons. Even one can take it. You can see it in a moment. It's very fast to install. It has a Actually, you just switch it on and then uh, radios are in the air. Meaning that if you come out to a disaster by car, by helicopter, by boat, you just bring this rapid deployable system with you. Even not open it, just turn it on and your pre-programmed radios are in the air. Meaning that first of all, you can uh, give your, uh, your technicians, your engineers, two radios or four radios so that they can find some power. But what it is, it's in the air very, very fast. We have some multi-power connections to this system, meaning that when you start the system, when you turn on the system, you need no power at all. We have a built-in battery that can last at least two hours will full 10 watts output power. Meaning that a disaster, you can just place the equipment and you are in the air within less than two minutes. And after that, you can prepare, how do I get a more stable power? It could be from a truck. It could be uh, from uh, a generator or it could be from a 110 volt AC that already or that might be uh, in, the, in the area. If not, then you have time enough to find your power. In this system, all the well-known dumb applications are already installed. You get a very good network management system. You can just via a plug-in connect to a laptop and you have access to the network management system where you can change your parameters, the radios, install more radios if you want to. So you have very easy access without opening the box at all. You have also access to our operation and maintenance system, meaning that you can go a bit deeper into the system if needed. We have a dispatcher. You can buy a dispatcher, that's a laptop where you can, when time has gone, you are more relaxed, you have opened your center for this operation, you can use the dispatcher and there you can control all your people, you can have the um, uh, GPS positioning, you can have the, tra uh, the, the, the track from your people so you will see where your people are in this disaster area. We have an internal lock into in the system where you will lock everything. That means you will lock voice, data, GPS positions. You will also have a very good picture of the statistics, how much is the system in use. So you will get a full view of what you are actually are doing in this area. At last, it's possible for you to connect our group bridge to the system. Meaning that if you have in this area a digital, Tetra network, an analog network that is operating for or part of it, then you are able to connect this system, this uh, rapid deployment system to the system that is already in a partly operation. We have of course also the interfaces, you are able to use the packet data, a SIP gateway, if you find a line to connect via a PABX or a exchange, public telephone exchange, for example, you have got an access so that you can go in the area if it is possible. Application gateway is needed. You can make your own applications that can be specifically made for your 
uh, turn of operation. It might be military application, it might be rescue application, um, and of course you can get whatever interface you would like, meaning uh, PS, PCM, E1, PCM, primary and so on. I think it's time to bring in the system because it can be used as a single node system, of course. Just a single node running, meaning that you have got three time slots available, that's the start. You can hand out your radios for the users, they can get into immediately operation. Immediately. This system, of course, it has its connectors. On one side, it has a fans, and you need not open it. It contains everything that you needed. You can run it as a single carrier, single, uh, single node, single carrier system, or if you need it for redundancy or more capacity, you can place two of these pelly cases of each other and therefore you have a two carrier system. Two carrier system is actually the system that is used everywhere in the world for, for, for normal Tetra operations. So you can place two of them and then you get also a redundant controller. Of course it's possible, let's say it's a big disaster, Haiti for example, you can start with the one, get an interoperation, use the engineers to find power, use the engineers to put in another uh, rapid deployable system and connect them. They can be connected by a radio link if you need, or if you can, or by a cable, LAN cable for example. So you can combine them, then you have a multi-node node system to cover a bigger area. And of course, you can use it as a multi-node, multi-carrier system, so you can build up a very big uh, Tetra network just from these PALI cases or these uh, rapid deployable systems. Let's have a look on a um, single carrier system, a disaster area, accident area. Bring in the rapid deployable system. We have done that. Turn it on. The system is already in the air. Install the antenna. Maybe you should still install the antenna first. And then you are in the air. Do you have some radios that are con... I, are you my technicians or, or... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I would like to. You are in the air with a, with a system that is... So we have a Tetra uh, communication between the systems. Okay, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. So it is already in operation. Of course, you need to make the planning before. You need to have programmed your radios and you need to have trained uh, your people using it. But in such a system like this, it's, you can have the groups you need, the engineering group, the rescue people, the policemen or whatever it is. If we go a step further, as I told you also, we have two hours operation and that's quite a long time to get some more stable power. If we look at this scene from a, a bit longer term situation, you have installed the system, but you have found out that in this area, you already have some communication from, let's say, a, a GSM network, then it is possible via the SIP gateway to connect this uh, GSM network so that you can go out in the world uh, communicating with the radio as a duplex call or whatever you want. That is also a possibility. You can connect the dispatcher as I told you, sitting in, in your operation center and now I can control whatever I would like to. The log server functionality, we can demonstrate that for you also because it's the same log server functionality as the dispatcher as we have in all our systems. So. If we are making a very large multi-node system, 30 nodes, 100 nodes, it's exactly the same software, it's exactly the same system that can be used. So if you are familiar with the DAM system, it's 
no, no change at all. Let's have a look at the group bridge as I told you about. We have installed in town, it might be in London, but unfortunately the coverage for that Titronet is not available due to some reason. It might be an antenna, it might be some damage. You can install this system, but you would like to connect to the existing Tetra system. Meaning that you can buy our new group bridge, you can connect different groups to this system. We have here uh, made a connection to an analog network we have. This is an old analog system that we have connected to the group bridge. We have also connected to our existing Tetra system, so that is also working. So you can actually have this rapid deployment in system in operation and this is our in operation and connected via this group bridge you can build up as many groups as you want to uh, I think it's up till 32 groups and you can connect up till eight different networks if necessary using this group bridge meaning that you actually have a rapid deployable system that can be used for many many persons uh, purposes Fast, uh, fast to uh, set up, fast to get into operation, and it can run for quite a long time without no power at all. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, I can answer uh, uh, answer them here, or we can go into more details concerning the the group bridge or concerning our system. Thank you very much.